To get out on the river again is an absolute joy after being confined to quarters under the recent house arrest scheme. My nearest local river is the Yo. I've only ever paddled never more than a couple of miles down it at most. So feeling somewhat buoyed by being let out again, I set off to paddle from Kongsbury village to where the river meets the sea at Kingston Seymour on the coast. It's about five and a half miles of winding river to where the fresh water meets the estuary at the Sluice Gate. So all in, a 10 mile round trip. Once you're under the bridge with the A370 above, it's not long till you're out in the open countryside of North Somerset listening to just the gentle sloosh of the paddle and the panicked quack of the odd startled duck. The only obstacle that needs to be negotiated is the weir near the M5 motorway. I could hear running water coming round the last bend before it appeared. This is the only white water that you'll encounter on the Yo, apart from the weir in Kongsbury. I suppose you could attempt it in a kayak, but I wasn't keen to impale myself or my canoe onto any steel today. Instead it was time for a quick brew and a loaf on the river bank before a less than arduous short portage around the weir and back into the river before a group of curious cows. I wasn't sure from looking at the online maps whether there'd be a grid or bars across the tunnel blocking my passage under the motorway. Thankfully there wasn't, but it was a bit weird hearing the rush of the M5 traffic above. bends and it wasn't long till Tuts Hill Sluice appeared. This is the end of the line for the River Yo. The massive steel barrier controls the level and flow rate of the river and when opened the water discharges into the tidal creek that in turn flows into the Bristol Channel a mile or so downstream from here. Mm -hmm. 